One of the most out there, delicious things I've ever eaten. Ladies and gents, welcome back to Rome. We've got a cracking little video uh, for you here today. We've kind of, I say we, the rule, we Callum has stumbled across kind of a bit of a wonder product on Instagram. Callum, do you want to explain where you found this? This is on like a blogger's page. This was on, off Google, some, yeah, some blogger lives in Rome. She said this was the go-to Chinese little snack. Right, so this is called a Jamal. Jamal, Jiao? Yeah. Jiao, something like that. Um, from the Xi'an province in China. Traditional food, and that's pretty much all they sell here. This and a bit of duck. Um, I've got high hopes for this. This is uh, this kind of like, I'm going to call it like a bun, but it's more like a, a kind of like a crunchy outer taco type sort of shell casing type vibe. Uh, it's eggs, water, flour mixed together, rolled out like pasta, cut into thing, and then they deep fry it and get this sort of. Wow. Stunning. It's exciting. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. Bit of a bird's nest. Now, spoiler alert. I have tried some of the beef, because when, when we were deciding, we've got the pork, the chicken, and the beef. And he gave me a little tip, uh, sort of teaser of each. The beef, I basically uh, passed out in the shop. <laughs> so good. If it comes together in here, we are set now for an iconic review. Here we go. Are you ready? Oh my God, that beef is cut from an ilk. That's like goosebump stuff. Ooh. It tastes, you've got the moisture, the dexterity of flavors in there is just mind boggling. It reminds me of a, a bulgogi with a bit more ginger to it. It has a, hold on. Oh my God, it's just better. It's one of the nicest things I've ever eaten. Wow. That's a big claim. Don't get me wrong. This all falls down into your sort of basket, but that is going to get eaten. Hey, sometimes messy food's good. You know it. Just like bird's nest on the outside does its fucking job, bro. It's no sort of like beef juice or moisture, which you'd expect from such a whopping great big dollop of beef in there to to come through, compromise the uh, this sort of bird's nest. I don't know what it's actually called, um, but it hasn't. It remains crispy and crunchy, which gives you the most mind-boggling texture and crunch when you're in your mouth. They weren't skimping on any of it, were they? The amount of beef they've given you. It is stunning. What was it like? Five euros? Five euros? Yeah. Crazy. Genuinely, one of the most out there, delicious things I've ever eaten. I can't, literally cannot, cannot bolt it. Wow. We, we have come out of the city, away from the tourist places. We're doing our best to uncover these places. We're looking at food bloggers' pages in and around. We're doing our best and dare I say it, we've had a couple of knockbacks today. We've gone a long way out to these various places selling some we weird and wonderful and borderline wacky bits and they've been shut. And you know what they're telling us? Like, they're not putting it on Google, they're not putting them on Instagram. Literally, what they are doing is put a poster on the front door saying we've gone on holiday for six weeks. That's it. So to find this now, in this day heat, it's fucking brilliant. Um, I'm excited. One more bite, I'm gonna try and figure out a score here, bro. Yes. Oh man, that's fucking good. Right, drink much. No. Coconut water. They had Sprite Fanta Coke, Coke Zero, about five different beers, and this. That is fresh off the boat. Look at that, look. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, bro? Look, that can. It's a cool can. Love it. <clears throat> what, what, whilst I'm doing that, I need more beef. That's how good this is. Jesus. It's like. Oh my god, on, the, on its own. If you live in and around Rome or come in here, 
How long did it take us to get a 20 minutes? Yeah, but we were like, I don't know where we were. All right, whatever. Less than 20 minutes. It's, it's not far from the Vatican, I suppose, I think. About 10 minutes. 10 minutes from the Vatican. On a bike, that is, not, not walking. Oh, just get, just get here. It's the smallest shop as well. And they have about six tables in the smallest shop. There's literally room for one person just to queue up and you're stuck right like this. Here we go, Callum. It's very busy. Oh my God. Oh, it's like coconut milk. It's meant to be good for you, bro. Here we go. Health as well. Oh my God, that's so good. We are living the life right now. If you're watching this video on YouTube right now, give us a thumbs up, please. We're out here doing our business, and if you really like our content, content, make sure you subscribe because we're uploading new, brand new videos at six o'clock every day. Now, time for a score, Callum. I think I know where I'm going with this. This is a 10 out of 10. Wow. Faultless, some of the most interesting beef I've ever had, and as a product, I think that is an absolute barnstorm. Everything that a bun lacks and a taco with its crispiness and it doesn't quite falls apart and it's messy. This just picks up the pieces in every department. You get that texture, it holds it together. It's fun, it's crunchy, it's delicious. Not too overpowering. It's fucking brilliant. It's a symphony of spectacular culinary. I'm run out of words. <laughs> you get the gist. Bang in. There you go. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you've enjoyed today's review. I certainly have. We're gonna chow down now and probably finish this, go out to the hotel and have a snooze, because it is 135 degrees Celsius. I know. Rome, you are beautiful. And you guys watching at home aren't too bad either. Thanks for watching everyone, and that was a review. People licking your lips, checking the dips. We're checking out the best of the bunch, so you can get your best breakfast, dinner, or lunch. It's Matt D and Jess coming with the food review. We've been traveling, trying to find the best foods for you. Yeah, now that's a review.